nigga. We bang, nigga. So we bang that shit like a gang, nigga. We the pros regulate like the bang like a gang. When niggas see us in traffic, they know what it is. We ain't running from nobody. We ain't scared to speak our shit. Niggas don't even want us to come out and fuck shit. Because they know what? We rob. Why does come? We ain't gotta run around and talk to everybody. They see us come, we move and mass to mouth. When we come, we come. We rain, we dream. Niggas clear up, you know what I mean? And I ain't just saying that it's a good thing or a bad thing, but niggas know about that book. I know you speak for itself. You know what I mean? Niggas know what's Jeff come, Jeff will come. That's all I said. Motherfuckers see us, source awards, soul train awards, in the Bahamas, overseas, nigga, in Hawaii. Niggas know what's Jeff in the house. They got all the police looking for us. You know what I mean? They got motherfuckers trying to keep us out there bumps. We coming to kick you, nigga. We ain't coming to start no trouble. We want to come see what you niggas doing. Hey, nigga, show support. Woo, woo, woo. But niggas think we bringing drum. We coming to kick you, nigga. We, we real human beings just like everybody else. We shit, piss, cry, and do the same thing as everybody else do. So don't think we always bring the drama. But when it's time to bring it, we go bring it, nigga. Believe that. We go bring it. What are your goals as a rapper and as a person? My goal as a rapper is to achieve everything that I can achieve in this rap game, to bring everybody to the rap game that I can bring to the rap game and help them out and get money in their pockets so they can support their family. You know what I mean? So they can live a right life and so they won't be hurting for money five to ten years from down the line. You know what I mean? That's my goal as a rapper. My goal as a rapper is to sell a few million albums so I can be alright. That's my goal as a rapper. And then me as a person, me, I'm trying to live a righteous life. You know what I mean? Keep God in my life. You know what I mean? Help everybody around me be a positive influence on anybody. Ain't nobody finna get around and be like, oh, yeah, I hate him. He's playing. I hate him. When they say the reason, they be like, man, that's a real nigga, man. Woo, woo. He ain't hating on nobody. I'm trying to, nigga, call the homeboy. I'm at the studio. I got studio time. I'm calling my homeboy. Nigga, come to the studio. Come fuck with me, nigga. Come drop the shit on my shit. Nigga, I ain't hating on nobody. I want everybody to be on my shit. They can get on my shit. Nigga, you can be a no name, nigga. Come to the studio. I give you 16 bars and some heat, but it's some bullshit. You ain't getting on it. That ain't hating. That's just being real. You know what I mean? That's my goal as a rapper. My goal is to post. Tell anybody I can help out. Because niggas tell me to get in the game. I just didn't wake up in the game. I've been rapping, but I need to help you get in the game. Why did you change the name to The Real? Because Dominican was a black African king from Ghana from the 1500s. I felt that was a positive influence on anybody. When they say Dominican, that was somebody from Ghana from the 1500s. He freed over thousands of slaves, you know what I mean, from poverty. But a lot of motherfuckers couldn't pronounce the name right, and it was like, hey, who is Dominican? Who, who, who? And it was like, Ten come in, in, ten. They couldn't say it right. So me and Shoot sat and chopped it up real lovely. He was like, nigga, you know what, nigga, you the realest nigga in the game right now, nigga. Let's say call yourself the realest. I'm like, nigga, I'm cool with that. And now since I call myself the realest, you got everybody wanna call themselves the realest now. They rap, nigga, wanna be like, he didn't got CDs, the realest niggas down south. And all this and woo, 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 nigga, call themselves the realest down south. But they want the realest niggas down south. But I came the realest niggas down south. I'm from the south. I feel them niggas trying to get my position, but they can't take my position because my position depends on what I do and how I do it. I live there. I'm the richest nigga down south of my eyes. And everybody that rolled me know I'm the richest nigga. So I ain't gotta come out dissing everybody. Woo, 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 woo. But when it's time to live there, niggas know I live there like I'm supposed to be done. You know what I mean? I'm the richest. I got a scar on my neck from a lot. I'm the richest. Who is your favorite artist to work with at Death Row? My favorite artist on Death Row to work with. I ain't with all of them. I love working with anybody on Death Row. I'm not gonna say this one person. I love working with Quick and I love working with Sweet G, Doobie, PK, uh, Top Dog, Daz, Kuwab, anybody crazy. Anybody that I work with on Death Row, I love working with all of them because they all bring something to the table that I don't have. You know what I mean? They, they bring so much different shit, versatile lyrics, you know what I mean? The niggas don't rap like I rap, I don't rap like they rap, so I feel when they bring something to the table, man, we all just little artists, so I love what we need one of them. Do you have a favorite producer who you just like to work with, just click with? I love working with Cobain, because Cobain, he know how I rap, so I don't have to be there with him telling him, hey, this is how I like to beat me. He had a beat laid, and I didn't come to the studio, 20 minutes, we got a phone done, and he have another beat waiting on me, and I just drop lyrics to that, you know what I mean? It don't take me long to write those songs, I write songs in 10, 15 minutes, and we working on something else. So I love working with Kurt Cobain. I love the versatility that Dad brings to the table. You know what I mean? Any any other motherfucker I like uh hear them bad tracks to the brothers. I worked with QDZ before, but he's not a deaf old producer. You know what I mean? And I love working with Jake Flex. He got some heat too. You know what I mean? So everybody I work with, I don't just yell anybody beat. You gotta have some heat for me to rap on your beat. I ain't saying I'm the thumbs nigga rapping, but I think for me to get on your beats, you gotta have some heat because niggas gonna look at me and be like, man, you rapping that old booty ass beat. 
it ain't, it ain't about the booty ass beat. Make sure the lyrics tight too. You know what I mean? The beat go bring something to the table, the lyrics bring something to the table also. Yeah. You need both. You need both. You need, you need both to make it hit. It ain't just the lyrics. The beat make the make the song a hit, and the lyrics make the song a hit. And then, you know what I mean? The way the mix is coming in, percussion, Bush Carl Smile, he does the bonus with the uh, percussion, I think. The top players we working with, uh, Daryl Crooks. I mean, everything. It's not just me. Engineering wise, we got motherfucking my uncle, you know what I mean? Rick Clip. It, 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 takes, it takes a whole lot, not just one person. It's a team work. What labels in the rap game do you respect? And which ones do you not respect? Uh, rap labels. Did I respect in the rap game? I respect cash money. I respect the fuck out of them. I respect sick with it records too. I love what these 40 them do. Yeah, you know what I mean? Down. They always put it down. They mean a lot of motherfuckers don't get a baby respect that they deserve, but I love how they put it down. Rich Rich, I feel that he brain don't got a little gangster with me. I, I love the way they put it down. A lot of independent labels you might not know about. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta be no big name record label to be out there doing your thing. You know what I mean? That's how cash money blew up. There wasn't no big major ass label. It's a lot of independent labels I can name out that you wouldn't know. So it's a lot of them. I just love the independent. When you mean independent, I mean you're starving and trying to do it on your own. You're not running to the big white boy and trying to get them to give you money. And you say you're showing it because I got nothing to do it on my own. And woo woo woo, but. Death row, I'm, I'm death row, nigga, for life. Death row, anything death row doing, that's what I'm doing. I don't good or bad, big or tall, small or large, nigga. It's all about death row. Record labels that I don't respect, I don't respect no me. I never will respect no me. Now I mean, I respect them for giving the South something to look forward to. Cause I mean, I'm from the South. I'm not dissing them niggas for unnecessary problems or not unnecessary means, but. No limit book about the rules in the game, but I ain't got a drop snitch about, but they know they did. They won't come to the public and say it. That's why I diss them on easy being a soldier when it ain't no war. I diss them niggas because they took so many of Death Row style, stole pop lyrics. Steve Murder stole pop lyrics on easy being a, uh, when we ride on our enemies. That's why I chop some niggas up. You know what I mean? And, and Lil C style had his problem with Snoop Nim, and, and Scoop had his problem with Dwayne Snoop Nim. So, you know what I mean? It ain't just we diss them niggas for no reason. We got reason for this nigga. I don't respect no limit, man. I don't respect Dwayne because they did some bitch shit. You know what I mean? If the niggas were men and grab their dick and come to the table and be like, hey, nigga, this is what we did. We know we fucked up. Woo, woo, woo. We probably can work that shit out. But the niggas, they try to come up and work it out and they still going behind our backs talking to dry sticks and fucking our name up. So why not get at the niggas and let the world know? If them niggas talking to dry sticks and fucking our name up, nigga, let me talk and say what's really going on so everybody will know what's really going on. You know what I mean? We gotta let everybody know. You gotta look at both sides of the yard. You can't just look at these niggas and be like, these the good guys and them the bad guys. And everybody think we the bad guys and Yankee bad guys. And when we speak, you know what I'm saying, we get our shit sent to the radio, don't wanna play our shit. And really, we being real, we trying to keep our name alive. And these motherfuckers trying to shoot us down every day. Yeah, niggas don't understand. It's a fair exchange. Yeah, it's a fair exchange. That's all it is. It's a fair exchange. And, you know what I mean, we both trying to get money. So, y'all gonna get them motherfuckers a fair chance. Give us a fair chance. Let us speak. Let us be here. Play our videos. Nigga, play our songs on the East Coast like you play these niggas on the East Coast. Bang got shit on the West Coast like you bang these niggas on the West Coast. Don't just play these niggas and, and look it up and we come like, oh, 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 don't let them niggas in the front door. Nigga, if you ain't let us in, we kicking the front door in. Nigga, you don't want to come to that, so just let it be free, or nigga. Back about a month ago, when we were kicking it in the studio, yep. you started talking about how you had the song, it's just a no limit, that was going to be like a hit em up. Can you please explain what that is? What it, it, it's like the bombing song that I think me and my little homeboys could ever put down called Let It Be Known. I'm just letting it be known to anybody. It's not just dissing on them, it's just some East Coast niggas too. Cause some East Coast niggas running around still whooping some bullshit. Still trying to say thug life is mine, y'all need to get it up. Y'all know who I'm talking about, I ain't gonna just say them niggas name, but you niggas know who I'm talking about. Them niggas still ain't carrying that shit, still bullshitting and whooping. And I really don't think it's fair the way these niggas doing that shit. So I had to do the song, letting it be known, just letting it be known to everybody. And a lot of niggas might take it the wrong way, but until you're outside of the store and see what we going through, you know what I mean? We gotta do that kind of shit. We gotta get into these battles. We gotta have these beats with these niggas until these niggas can understand what's really going on. I'm letting it be known. And I ain't making up no shit. I ain't lying. Everything that I'm saying in the song is real. I got my love with the last circle bomber with me. And it's just some of the real shit we can never put down. And niggas gotta understand that shit. Nigga, peak game from long range. You know what I mean? Fuck some niggas. You know what I mean? I'ma say that. Fuck some niggas until they respect us.
fuck the music. And then these niggas, you know what I mean? They all on the East Coast, this and up. And when they come to the West Coast, they make it seem like it's all love. And it ain't like that. They come out here trying to do their shows and get our money. And we let these niggas walk around LA like it's going down and go down south like it's going down. But then on the West, on the East Coast, the niggas straight this and up. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, fuck them niggas. Nigga, I can't stand them niggas. Being around here, they all like we friends and shit. Just like Papa saying, nigga, them niggas ain't our own boys. They act like it to get our money. To get your get your motherfucking concert money. Come see him. And they disappear. You don't see them niggas no more. You don't hear them niggas on the East Coast giving out no shout out. You know what I mean?